Hi everyone, this is Triple Valve Metro Camel. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, for those of you who joined me for the first time, welcome and hope you enjoy the video. And those that join me regularly and follow my channel regularly, thank you so much for watching again. Uh, much appreciated and uh, good to see you. Okay, guys and girls, I've got a little tip to share with you today. It's um, sort of a five minute sort of coffee break sort of tip idea that you can do within five, ten minutes at home. And I just come across the idea recently and I'm, I haven't particularly seen this on YouTube yet. And if it's been done, apologies, but if not, I hope this will be a first for YouTube and certainly um, within the model world, some inspiration for you guys and girls out there that are doing a bit of modeling at home on your locos. And the idea is this video, you want to do something that's quick and easy, but also saves money and you haven't got to spend a penny basically, that's the name of the game. So I thought, um, I come across this in my bits and pieces box um, recently, I've got quite a few of these, when I normally buy Hornby locos, uh, being an old fashioned guy, um, I'm a DC modeler, I'm not DCC equipped in my layout, so I'm basically DCC. Um, so these are no good to me, and I do not like these in the box, and I think they're just basically junk for those of us who don't use it. And normally I'd throw these away, but I thought, what about if we took one of these, which are the DCC sleeves that you fit inside your Locos from Hornby. <clears throat> not much good if you're, a, if you're a DC modeler as mentioned, but what about if we took one of these and we carefully cut it to size and voila we could use this as a tarpaulin to cover the cab to the tender with a simple piece of material thus provided by Hornby so that's our little project today for the five ten minutes so let's see what we can achieve so I've got one of these I'm going to use a bit of super glue and a nice pair of sharp scissors obviously if you're using scissors out there kiddies Mind the fingers. So, obviously the car liked it. <laughs> oh, the wonders of live TV. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all, here's our 9F obviously for our, our project. And we're going to look at how we're going to put this on here, yeah? So first of all, we're going to take the sleeve and just really roughly measure. Obviously you don't want anything overhanging the sort of that scale. It looks a bit silly, it's too oversized. What you want is roughly where, if I'll just bring this video in, really zoom it in a little bit here, hang on. Do, 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 do. Come on, today, today, there we go. Right, okay, so if we're looking at this here, you really want to cover only as far as there to there in terms of width. You don't want it overhanging too much. It's obviously a tarpaulin to protect the, the foot plate crew if it rains a bit and it's a bit horrible out so obviously they'd put that over there um, just a little idea so obviously we don't want to go above that cab line there so probably we'll bring it up to about there in terms of width and the other thing we've got to remember as well we want to leave the tender end nice and loosey-goosey because if she's going around curves and across point work you don't want the thing super glued to here which will restrict movement and also when you come to take it off the track for maintenance it'll be stuck together so you just want this side only glued so let's get on with it so here's our material as mentioned and I'll see what we can do here okay so first of all what I want to do is just carefully just cut this side like that snip there and a snip there alright job done that bit has got the writing on there, which we don't really want to use, so that back in the spares box for another day. So we're left with this piece here. Now what you want to do is just roughly put it on your loco and just see how it's going to fit. So you want it really at about that width to about say there. So coming with the scissors and just really mark it from about say where you want it rest the end of the scissor blade basically up against the side of the tender gives you a little line guidance and I'd say probably about there make a little snip which as you can see there's our snip guide and just basically carefully snip that away don't need that part put it to one side and then what we're going to do as you can see this material is it's pretty flexible as well which is nice so we're going to use it I think that way I'm just going to trim 
ever so slightly that bit off. Tidy up a little bit. Do the other end as well. Just smarten it up a little bit on both sides. Make sure it's nice and even. Any rough edges or bits like that. Just trim it up basically. So you want to tidy that up as well. So once you're happy really with what you've got, then you can put it in place and just have a little test. So this is going to be too wide by the way, so I'm not quite sure about this yet. Yeah, it's a little bit too wide. It's about right, but what we want to do is just take a little bit off um, this end. It's a little bit too long but we can always trim it afterwards. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit more off there. Like that. Okay, now what you want to do is put the tender up the way for one side. Turn it that way, upside down. So you want, obviously this is the area we're going to put the glue. And you want to really if you can see this on the camera at home, it's it's already got a little um, curve in it. So this is the way you want to glue it in position. You want to put it in so it's this way. Like that. So it, it's actually this way. So you follow the curve line with the same curve as the cab. So it goes in sort of um, that way. So it's going to sit with the same profile as the cab. You can see that at home. Right, okay. So, all we're going to do is just take a little bit of super glue. Let's measure this up. Right. Here we go then. So, you want a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit just across there. Right, so. Just a tiny bit. Like that. And then just put it in position. Like that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Being careful not to stick my fingers, by the way. It's not fun when you stick your fingers to things, especially locos or wagons. Not very fun walking into the A&E with a 9F stuck on your fingertip and explaining why to the nurse. <laughs> no, that's a bit extreme. Um, super glue generally does come off with a bit of soap and water, but just be very careful that you don't stick it to anything to, too much. You don't want to ruin it. So we use the end of the scissors by the way just to gently press that in place in your cab like that. Okay now the great thing about this once it's in position like that um, you can then um, trim this to exactly how you want it and what we'll do, let the glue dry. Just measure it up really with the the tender on here. I'll bring that a bit more better there so you can see. And because it's flexible, you can, it does fold down over there. So that's really what we're looking for. Yeah! I'm just going to couple this up together let's see what it looks like ah there we go so you see this is why it's great to glue it in place before you trim it because then you can muck about with it and see how much you've got to take off so in this case we need to take it off probably I reckon I reckon let's go for about there little snip there to mark it and couple it again and I'll try and bring, let me bring the camera in a bit better so you can see what's going on. Right, so there's our snip mark. You can see that I've just cut that there. That's where you want to cut it. That's where we've measured it to be. And just come across there, find the mark the scissors, and just very carefully and quickly, like that. <clears throat> now, if you're really, really clever, what you can do, once this is dried, 
you can get uh, something like a needle or a, or a tooth uh, pick or a cocktail stick and just roll the end round a little bit, the whole thing round uh, to make it crimpled like it's a tarpaulin sheet rolled up underneath but I'm going to leave mine like that to be honest with you and we put that together and yeah there we go job done so I'm going to bring the camera down have a quick look at this and hopefully this has given you some inspiration today so let's just bring this down a minute look at this at eye level do 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 that'll do I'll bring the camera in as well no it's not working apologies here can't get the staff these days <laughs> that's better let's bring it down a little bit Ooh, a bit too rapid that'll do okay so so yeah there we go there's our tarpaulin uh, from the cab to the tender it's pretty basic but that's the idea and also you've got movement as well that's what you want that's what we're looking for movement there flexibility so it can go around curves and across point work without fouling the tender and causing um, derailments so again little idea and then what I can do with this also once this is dried the super glue has gone off you can actually uh, just paint it or weather it accordingly I might add a little bit of dirt and weather on there probably um, but there you go that's a little tip for you guys out there so there's our our tarpaulin keep our footplate crew nice and dry and I think that's really great what a good little idea and the great thing about this is this isn't restricted to a 9F you can do this with any um, tender lurko you've got in your collection with any make or model or, or gauge size um, I say gauge size I'd, I'd use this for 4mm scale only but rule of thumb is if you've got any double O scale tender loco and you want to basically improve the appearance very simply and cheaply you can now do a cab to tender tarpaulin with the help of this video hopefully that's, that's inspired you guys and girls out there and I'll see you again soon thanks for watching and see you soon happy modeling bye bye